this talent development process, uh, we will now talking about the third phase that is the uh, how this talent development uh, is uh, to be done and uh, how we can exercise the best ROI from this talent development process. Here, uh, the contents are the tell the story, communicate the results to the key stakeholders um, that is the how whatever the is a training program is done and learnings have been uh, uh, the delivered. Then in that case, uh, these stakeholders may be the internal, may be the external, uh, how they will getting the benefited that is to be communicated. Optimize the results using the black box thinking to increase the funding and then how we can use this black box thinking that we will see in detail further. Storytelling is very effective always uh, this type of these uh, you know, efforts uh, they are be becoming the very very important. Social recruiting that is a uh, pick up the pay, uh, pace or the be left behind um, uh, how we can go for this uh, social recruiting process and the world of recruitment that is the what has been transformed. So, here the first we would like to check the up to the step 6 uh, we have talked um, last time, now we will take this step 7, tell the story, communicate the results to the key stakeholders. With the results in hand, uh, now comes the valuable next step that is uh, making sure the appropriate audience knows about it, This the, 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 who are your audience are there. Now, here audience can be the technical, there can be the non-technical. The audience can be the managerial or maybe the middle management, uh, senior management, middle management or the junior management level. So, this is a matter of understanding the audience is such a that is the how these those listed in the table uh, 5 you will see and following a 7 step processes to communicate and the use the results are there. Now, in this table you will find primary target audience is there and reason for the um, communication. And so, for, uh, first is the client or the sponsor, the, those who are the target audience is there and then uh, uh, naturally the sponsors what they are looking for? They are looking for the results to secure uh, the approval of results that is whatever results are there they, that have been the approved or accepted by the stakeholders. All managers to gain the support for learning and talent development process and uh, they, uh, whatever these uh, mm, uh, the uh, training uh, development exercises have been done right and uh, here they are all managers are giving the support uh, that is to be communicated mm, that is the support is required, support is to be provided. Now, here we can also mention that is how the supports can be uh, achieved or gained. Now, communication with the participants is to secure agreement with the issues that is yes, this will be the content, this will be the delivery, this will be the outcome to create the desires to be involved that is and, and naturally we can take the input from them also what is desired um, and to improve the results and quality of data. So, by, by, by the period of time, so what the trainer can do or that is the talent development manager can do that is the, he can keep on improving the results and quality of data. The top executives what they do to enhance the credibility of the learning and talent development team is there. So, here that is the uh, actually that is a leadership position. So, top executives as a leader they are looking for that is the whatever the programs are done. So, when we say uh, 20 programs are done that credibility will go to the top executives that is they, they have managed, conducted, organized uh, for the organization this type of the programs. So, that is the credibility of learning will be developed and uh, naturally because they are creating a culture, culture of the talent development process. So, that will also go um, will be communicated to the top management. Immediate managers of participants. So, therefore, to reinforce the application and impact and build the support for the program. I would like to take the example of the PSUs and therefore, normally what happens that is the, the participants they apply and those um, uh, requests that have been forwarded by the immediate managers of the participants that is the yes this type of programs are to be there because there is a centralized training system or you can say continuous education or learning system center and therefore, it will be enhancing this application and then building the support for the program is there. 
talent development team to be communicated to drive action for improvement with the every um, experience naturally there will be certain improvements will be there and, and they, the, these particular improvements that is to be communicated to the tel talent development team. Facilitators are there to see the results of their work. Hmm? So, those who are the facilitators uh, may be the for example, this program and those who are the recording the program, those who are editing the program, those who are arranging the all the technical aspects of this program, arranging the all managerial aspects of these programs. So, therefore, though these are the facilitators and we have to communicate to see tell them that is the uh, let us see the whatever there is the result of the work is there and if the result of the work is satisfactory that is also to be communicated or there is certain ed editing or certain improvements are required that is also to be communicated to these uh, facilitators are there. HR executives of the organizations to show the complete results of the program they are responsible, they are accountable right? and therefore, in that case an answerable also. So, therefore, in that case they have to show the complete results of the program. Evaluation team is there to under, uh, underscore the importance of the measuring results that is uh, what type of the uh, results are there uh, and uh, then they will be evaluating whether it, it is giving this ROI or not. All employees to demonstrate accountability for the expenditure. So, uh, here everyone who is involved with this particular process as an employee they, 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 are, they have to demonstrate, they, they have to show that is the yes the accountability for the expenditures they are having and they have justified it. So, that justification for that expenditure, justification for the that talent development pro complete process financially and non-financially also and that they, they are supposed to communicate. The, the prospective participants are to make the future programs right and therefore, in that case uh, that uh, we can see that is the uh, how we can go for this uh, the success uh, successful programs and make the future programs are there. So, this is the very good uh, example uh, and the process for the talent development and here um, we can take our uh, courses also that is these NPTEL courses also as an example um, that is the how the all the persons including yourself, myself, the supporting team, the technical team and that is the output, then there is the participants, then those who are ex appearing for the examination and therefore, the, um, the future participants right. So, all are involved into this particular stakeholder process. Now, you see that is the that, that content, uh, the content can range from a detailed report to a one page summary as shown in the figure 4 and therefore, we will talk about in the figure 4 that is the how I, either you can prepare it totally a detailed report or you can go for the one page summary also. So, therefore, that one page summary that can be shown the, the important point is to tell a story with results right. So, there uh, here is the uh, whenever our output is there or the results are there and uh, then that has to be communicated right as we have seen in the previous table, but how that is in the form of a storytelling. It is very effective like we, we have thought of conducting this particular program we have identified there is a such a need of this particular program, then we, we, we have talked to the different executives and then we have come to a conclusion that is the what should be the talent development issues and then what how the talent development is the relevant, how the talent development can in different industries uh, they are looking for for this particular uh, course contents. So, therefore, it is the, the then every sequence has been uh, uh, the told and told in the form of a story and the, this is very effective and it, it is the best way to get the audience members attention and have them remember the results that is what are the results are there. The five levels of the outcome data represents a compelling story uh, with the very credible executive friendly evidence right and therefore, in that case that story as a story is naturally different from the case study. Case study is 
the real story is the uh, is the formation formation with the reality and certain hypothetical situations so this credible and executive friendly evidence that that will be developed there is nothing more powerful than a story with business results hmm? and uh, the, uh, here we will find that is the uh, it it has to be that is the what uh, but the story ending story happy story and the happy story that is that, that is always you know we see the movies and there is always happy ending in reality it is happy ending or not that is a different issue but in the movie you will find it is there is a happy ending and therefore this happy ending that is go, that goes with the business results are there and that is that is the roi <laughs> and whatever the purpose roi means always i, I, I please don't uh, misunderstand roi is not only the financial it is not only the tangible it can be non financial also and it can be intangible also that roi i am talking about both both not only one and that is possible now with all of the results are there so this articulation of the story that is a desire from the conceptualization designing that dreams dreams coming into the reality it is how the dreams are come into the reality right and that is that that is becoming intelligent development a very very important so what are the challenges for the leadership is there the leadership challenge is that there is a four day workshop with action plans and support tools are there who 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 selects these right there is the key key parameters area intentions to improve using the competencies which with his or her team so here each participants so that he has to select it to two key performers um, the indicators that is like the krs key result areas the key performance indicators are there and therefore this key performance indicators how they will develop so uh, very interestingly so you tell the participant ask first right like i have mentioned it is the in the many psus like the bh and all when we are conducting the training programs then we ask them how you have come across this particular topic so they said that is the first we have floated the form and in that form we asked them that is what they require they also take the help of the performance appraisal forms also and identify and make the matrix where these um, there is a need of the training but from the volunteers the trainees the participants itself they asked what is the uh, which is the area in which they want to improve upon right so they have and those areas those areas are not the wishful thinking right those areas are from the kpis key performing indicators to improve using the competencies with his or team reaction the objective met is there Re, uh, already in the training development uh, talent development the first and second uh, already mentioned relevance important and intent to use hmm? in talent development too just before of this particular session i have talked about uh, this relevance important and intent to use is there application objective on a five point scale extent of use is 4 point on a five point scale you see that is the extent of use 4.3 frequency of use 4.5 success with use 3.9 barriers are not enough time lack of support uh, does not fit and others is the 10% is there so the, here um, that is the uh, uh, the you, your evaluation process the learning objective met pre post improvements communicate the values and beliefs 48% uh, organizational uh, uh, it, it will it will be depending on that organization the organization which is planning focus on the key values through the actions 57% is there the build collaboration teamwork and trust 42% learning objectives match right pre and post improvements are there uh, now you will ask that is how this has been measured this percentage has been measured right so this percentage is measured on the basis of their feedback percentage is me measured on the basis of the intent form which is given to them and then that, that form has been collected pre and post strengthen the others abilities to excel 69% inspire others to share a common vision common vision of the organization that is what is the common vision is there 53% and recognize the accomplishment of others that is the whether 
the goals have been accomplished and achieved or not. So, therefore, we find that is the right from the objectives fixation, applications, challenges and the results that has been calculated or mentioned. Now, here suppose you, you say that is uh, these results are not enough, we have to improve, I want you are HR executive, you want to improve on your talent development process and therefore, uh, you say that is I want to make it the maximize. So, optimize the results using black box thinking to increase the funding is there. Now, results are there and you know what cause success or failure is there. You know? Like for example, here we will see hmm, if we, we, we analyze this particular table learning objectives met pre and post improvements. So, what has caused hmm, that is the you know, cause success or failures. right? So, here what has caused the success? So, abilities to excel of the participants that is lead to success and the team building the point number 6 recognize the accomplishment of others 67 percent. So, that that has been also appreciated right. However, the communicate the values and belief no it is 42, but the build collaboration teamwork and trust it is 42 percent. So, when we, uh, we are talking about that is the and you know call, uh, the failures. So, in the failures it is it is it is becoming right in the failures right and when I, I want to connect this failure I would like to connect this failure with this because this is the minimum result. So, so what is that uh, is there failure is build the collaboration teamwork and trust and naturally it is the less than the 50 percent is there. Huh? Now, here Mm, uh, what, what what must be the barrier? Can you guess from this slide? That is the what must be the barrier in this particular uh, uh, building the collaboration teamwork and trust, right? So the uh, the barriers will be right here not enough time or lack of support hmm, and does not fit fourteen percent, but does not does not fit is not uh, can be the reason for this, right? But uh, yes, uh, the lack of support, this is directly related with your the building the collaborations, teamwork and trust and therefore, in this case when we talk about the failures. So, this is becoming the uh, uh, this particular part that is becoming important. But when we talk about the success, what lead this uh, success? Success is 69 right. So, why the success is there? So, therefore, here we will see frequency of use because of the relevance important and intent to use right. So, these 1, 2, 3 and 4 that has lead to the result strength and others abilities to access is there. However, again we can see the why this is not 100, huh? this 69 is not 100, why it is not 100 and therefore, this is because of this 23 is there. So, here it is the success or failures that we can results are there and then we can find out what caused that the success or failure. If the results are disappointing, you know how to make the corrections are there. So, when you will have this list of the barriers focus on the list of the barriers and try to improve on this particular barriers are there right. And when you will inc uh, minimize these barriers you will improve the percentage here, hmm? you will improve the percentage here and when you will improve the percentage here uh, then this percentage will decrease. When this percentage will increase this percentage will decrease and when it, uh, when this will decrease this will increase and then you will go for uh, then you can how to you have to make the corrections. Once you make the corrections that percentage of the results will be increasing barriers will be decreasing.
So, black box thinking is needed at this step. In the airline industry, black box point out to the cause of a crash of an airplane. So, that is the why that particular talent development has been crashed. In which let us analyze the data with the goal of preventing an accident from the occurring again. Hmm? So, uh, therefore, they try to find out from the black box exactly what happened. The analysis easily reveals the cause and identifies the actions to be taken to prevent this type of the accident in the future. So, now what is the point in postmortem uh, that? So, therefore, the purpose of that postmortem is this that is the whatever the black box thinking is there that has to be taken, um, uh, 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 that uh, uh, input is there, whatever the cause was the failure, and then uh, we can take the corrective actions. So, that the next time this type of this crash that can be avoided. The actions may involve changing the design, design of your not aircraft, design of your training program, procedures or processes right for your this particular uh, and this uh, uh, the training design development talent development process. As a result of using this process, the airline industry is the safest mode of travel on the planet and is one of the safest industries in the world. So, your training and development process that ship that will not be sinking because you are working on the black box thinking. This is caused by the relentless pursuit of the process improvement to do it better. Dear friend, this is the most important thing. We keep on doing the, um, uh, the, uh, the certain mistakes, right? Or we keep there must be certain errors uh, in our processes, right? But we learn from the past error and minimize into the next attempt. It cannot be the uh, totally zero, we are human beings, so we naturally we do, but when, when it is a systematic continuous process and you are monitoring that particular process, I am sure that is the like here like black box thinking that what went wrong. So, many times like we organize a conference simple example or any training program like this and we academicians uh, and the most of you must be the from the uh, experienced persons right. So, therefore, you know that is whether the whatever job you are doing academician or industry right or from the government. So, we, we, we do certain jobs, we perform our duties at that time we try our best, but when that job is over the leaders what they do they inspect that particular job that is whether the job has been done properly or not, what were the barriers, what were the strains, what were the concern and what is the output. They do not just finish what of things is done, okay, good, done, nothing, nothing is done unless an anti, one more step is required after that done that is the whatever is the, the corrective actions are required. So, we can give the better results in future and there is an improvement to do it better. So, here that is the by the relentless pursuit of the process and you know, that is the pursuit of happiness you must have seen that movie <laughs> right and therefore, always it is the it is the pursuit, uh, pursuitness of improvement always and always the pursuit of heaven. So, somebody ask you that is what you learn from this program. So, I learn pursuit of the uh, improvement. Right to do the better and better and better and better and better and better always. So, there will be the evaluation process, there will be the optimization and there will be the allocations will be there. So, evaluation is why, why, evaluation, why we do the evaluation? It is not that you have failed, it is not you have not achieved, it is not that is the showing the person that is the no he is inferior, no, no, no not for that purpose the evaluation is done to make it better. So, whether you are using the man or machine or material or money or method or minutes, the time which you have spent on this. Now, you are making the evaluation of all I mean you are evaluating, evaluation and then evaluating and then you find there is a certain gap. So, you go for the optimization and that is you improve the results. As soon as you can improve the results, you are getting the allocation, get the more funding because organization to the organization you prove that is yes, 
from the past we have done better now and when we have done the better there is much scope to do more and more activities. The evolution of measurement from a process that focuses on the capturing value to a process that is designed to create value, value creation and this is accomplished by the having the all stakeholders focus on the success and design programs to deliver the desired level of success. In the current environment, the level of success that is needed is the business contribution of learning and talent development. This is very, very important. That is the because of so uncertainty, there are so many changes, there are so many ups and downs in the businesses and therefore, your manpower should be your strength and therefore, there is a contribution of learning and development and that, that should be the cause of success. Business impact and ROI evaluation for talent development program is achievable and is being achieved by the many organizations and this is a practice dear friends. Do not think this is just in a theoretical and uh, classroom uh, lecture. Yes, you are doing that particular development process. Now, the social recruiting pick up the uh, pace or be left behind. A job board or business creates a website that simplifies both a job and vacancy fulfillment search. It includes a broad range of the job categories, industries and functions. Job seekers post their resumes for the consideration by potential employers and employers list job ad ad advertisements that could be of interest to the potential employees. So, naturally when a job board is created right for the job and vacancy, then it is including a broad range of these uh, job categories, industries and functions are there. So, uh, assume that you are a consultant and then you are recruiting, the, you are the facilitator to recruitment and therefore, you, there you are putting on the site and there will be so many job seekers. Then, then they will put their resumes uh, for consideration right and uh, here there will be the list of the employees uh, uh, the jobs that could be interest to the potential employees. So, world of the recruitment is transformed. Fortunately, digital advances and the emergence of these social media forced a change in the recruitment market that we are simply powerless to resist. Him. Use of these new channels for recruiting has broadly been dubbed social recruiting. The full array of activities this encompasses has the potential to dramatically transform both hiring approaches and the hiring effectiveness. So, the that, that is the total transformation is there in the recruitment process. A strong recruiting brand on social media can be a new means of the attracting candidates interest in its own right. So, therefore, it is uh, here uh, the role of the social media that is becoming a very, very uh, attractive and effective both in the means of the attracting the candidates are there. And uh, here with the help of the social media, a company that wins a large following for its recruiting team's social media profiles has a ready made audience of the potential candidates that can be enticed to the submit their resumes in the future. So, uh, industry need not to go anywhere, industry from that these the social media only understand the way the comments are there, the way the likes are there, the way the pictures are there, the way the contribution is mentioned, the way this their success or failures have been mentioned in the social media right that is giving the candidate and to submit their resumes in the future whether they are suitable or not suitable for a particular position. It also increasingly has a network of people who believe in the business and who will become willing to share your openings with their networks are there. And therefore, if a large network is there, then definitely that will help in your business and uh, the willingness to share your openings will be there. Keep in mind that audience research is a key success factor. So, it, it is the uh, identifying. Now, now, now you see again in the social media, there will be the huge huge in uh, the applicant potential employees right. But then keeping in mind that is the what exactly we are looking for and then you, you will be able to filter that the large number and then the, the you will find the right talent for your organization and that is becoming the key success factor. Engaging with the influencers to expand the reach of your messages. And there are already people in organizations on social media who have massive followings of the exact types of people your business would like to reach. 
By using tools such as the Buzz Sumo, you can identify many of the influencers in your industry who are likely to help expand the reach of your brand by sharing your updates. That is the many times we keep on doing so many things professionally better, but we are not sharing that and if we are not sharing, so therefore we are not justifying our talent. It is not the question whether you want to go to the rise or in the your positions or not, it is a question of the co contribution to the society. So, if you have certain qualities and the people want to, society wants to access you, but you hide those qualities, you will not be able to help the society, you will not be able to help your, uh, the organization to your institute. So, your strengths and successes and your quality, right, they are required to expand so that your brand can be reaching to the updates for as a servant leadership. While many recruiters tend to be focused on the followers, they are able to win for their recruiting team. They should also think about the total reach that their profiles are able to achieve and therefore, there will be the certain profiles will be there and with those particular profiles, you will be able to reach and achieve the whatever the targets you are having. Now, the uh, uh, very, very important aspect that is implement a social referral program to drive the more employee referrals. The, now, uh, now, you see that there is a always uh, right LOR, right LOR, but you, what is the LOR? LOR is itself is your social media page. First by tapping into the networks of your staff, you can potentially reach a lot of your target candidates audience in a way that is more personal than advertising to that same audience, right. So, therefore, when, when you are making this particular social referral program, when receiving an invitation to consider a vacancy from someone they know, the chances of candidates looking at the message and clicking to check out the vacancy are greatly enhanced, that is to be taken care of. But the last but not the least, paying uh, the existing staff rather than the external suppliers to generate the candidate leads improves the remuneration of your staff while bringing on board staff members that the team is more likely to bond with. And while mobile recruiting and the social recruiting are in some ways distinct, they are also highly complementary. So, therefore, we have to make the use of these that is whatever our the social recruiting are there and some ways the distinct uh, there, there may be the mobile recruiting and the approaches and the networking which we are implementing they, they are required to be the highly complementary is there. So, uh, just uh, 2 minutes I would like to talk more about the rise of the mobile recruiting. The mobile recruiting covers more than just this is your the ATS needs to be mobile friendly right and your email communications with candidates, interview invites and the video interviewing platforms need to be considered with the mobile candidate in mind. So, nowadays you find that is uh, uh, we have seen in the corona time also that is the we were asking early students uh, are the learners that is not to um, use the mobile right and now then the time has come that is we have said that is no, no, no this is a corona time online learning and you use more and more mobile every parents uh, were giving the mobile in the hands of the children right that is the you learn from this particular process and therefore, here that is to be uh, mobile candidates in mind that is becoming the uh, rise of the mobile recruiting. Your career site needs to be mobile optimized. So, how you are using your mobile, in which direction and if you are using it potentially and positively that is becoming the optimization of your use of technology, mobile technology. So, finally, what I can say, research your ideal candidates on social media and approach them directly, how to effectively mine LinkedIn for talent, how to find tech, uh, uh, the tech candidates on the GitHub, um, um, uh, uh, when you find they are the deserted LinkedIn, how to tap into the um, more sizable profile databases that Facebook and Google plus provide how to find the in depth social profiles of the candidates who we caught your interest to Twitter. All these and more are the realm of the social sourcing specialist is there. So, whenever we are talking about the develop development and selection of the talent, then we can use this all this technology and in the talent development process, when we are talking about this evaluation and optimization, right, which will give the results. So, these are the technique and tools for the talent development for the optimization of our talent development. So, this is uh, all about uh, the talent development phase. Thank you.